Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your big brother, Redheaded Step Stacker. And tonight we are going to touch on some points, get ready, assemble the names, and let everybody know everything they need to know for the amazing second annual Redheaded Step Stacker family reunion. Now, to start out, let's give the family a moment to roll in. So I have put together some very interesting video from my trip to uh, the great state of Ohio, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And we pick up the story in Grand Sen in, uh what the hell's the name of the Union Station in Chicago, Illinois. So I'm going to turn off my mic. Tracy Ann, welcome. Auntie Well, welcome. Here is a, a one and a half or two minute video, quick little snippets of my trip from beginning to end to Cleveland. A little teaser, if you will. And then we are going to go into the prize closet, which has grown by 600% for those of you who will be joining us at the Redheaded Step Stacker Family Reunion. Then at the end, we're going to go over very specifically what you need, what you don't need, and you really don't need much at all. Uh, especially if you have special needs, if you have oxygen, if you need to be plugged into a dialysis machine, but you could bring one, let us know. We will um, get you worked out. Whether you stay in a hotel, that's fine. Ronette is flying in from California. We'll be staying in a hotel. Apple Dumpling might be joining her. Uh, they will be staying in a hotel. They're not campers. Uh, we may be able to find space available for you in the house. The house is pretty loaded, but it's a really big house. So uh, we could probably set you up um, back in the ice cream room, which is totally private. No way to get there. No one can walk by you while you're on your dialysis machine, whatever. Whatever medical ailments you got, we're going to cover it. That's Judy's specialty. So let us get into the three-minute video. And then when you guys see these prizes, it's going to blow your mind. It's going to... And we have two and three of pretty much everything you see. So as it stands right now, one person might be walking without a prize. And all the really, really good prizes are going to be given away in a fashion that anybody could win. A five-year-old could win. If you're bringing kids, they're welcome. Uh, anybody could win. So there'll be some skill-based stuff that have smaller prizes. Somebody even came up with the idea of, and I've already, uh, Tasha Cat brought me one of those uh, wipe-away boards. Uh, and we may even do a, uh, uh, like a Pictionary thing where you kind of got to guess the picture uh, with two teams. And we got enough to give everybody on one team uh, a whole set of coolers. Uh, and you'll see those in the video. So sit back, relax, let's enjoy this video. Uh, Tasha Cat is texting me. She does not know we're live right now. Uh, but everybody else seems to be rolling in. Let's get started. Right now I'm in Union Station. You can hear a pin drop in here. Uh, I was delayed one hour by a fire uh, on the original train, the Metra. I made it here with about 40 minutes to spare. And right now I'm waiting to get lined up in what they call the Grand Room. It is beauty, isn't it? I'll be updating you guys. Maybe we could... Sorry for the interruption. I need to say this in case I forget to say it in the future. Uh... My experience on Amtrak in coach was absolutely amazing, amazing. The food was extraordinary. I mean, their breakfast sandwiches, which are microwaved in these special bags, are better than any breakfast sandwich you ever had, except for one that I had uh, at a Jewish delicatessen um, in the same town that uh, Bill Murray grew up in. But the food, I highly recommend Amtrak travel at a point in the evening. Uh, there's three Amish babies in our car, and the car just hit the right point in the track where it just lullabied them babies and all the passengers right to sleep. I was very happy with the space that I, as a very large man, the person next to me was not intimidated by the amount of space that I needed, and I had plenty of space. So let's get back to the video. Do a live stream from the train all night. Oh, that's somebody's tour bus. Thank you. That was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah. Okay, the prize closet is getting full. I guess in this case, it's the prize trunk. The prizes are going to take up a lot of space in the van that we're renting to get to the Redheaded Step Stacker family reunion. The prizes are rolling in so fast, thanks to Snap-On and White Feather Swami. Let's take a look. We have a set of two of these. Now, that night's theft, you get the serrated edge on the flipper, the can opener on the flipper. You get a serrated edge on one side and a pokey on the other, giving you five, six tools in two for your set. Now, these are fireproof gloves, and these are perfect for sticking your hand in a fire, picking up a log, and flipping it. And this 50 caliber is a light. Now, in the other glove is another uh, 
prize that will go in one of these two bags, probably, it is a bottle opener. And that thing weighs more than the full bottle of beer itself. That thing's got to weigh a pound. Here are the new prizes just added. The snap on gambling board thing, which is really cool. Here's the swami. Game board box. Oh, yeah. It's a nice wooden aid. Does it have like chess in it? Yeah, I think it's got a couple things. So there's the cool salmon logo. And then it's got. I might get a copyright strike. Oh, backgammon. Backgammon. Nice. Tic tac toe. Oh, yeah. Chess. 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 Chess checkers. That's badass. That is awesome. What's that? Oh, that's tic tac toe. That's awesome. Excellent. Chess checkers. Yeah, back cannon. And chest. What else is in there? This is the one we didn't open yet, I think. Oh, there's the chest. Oh, there, there are chest checkers. Woo! That smells good. Still, yeah. It smells good. It smells like, uh, like cool wood. Yeah, back cannon, checkers, chest. Check, check, check. It's your camping gaming set for the kids if they don't have their phones. Because if they don't have their phones, they're going to eat their parents, okay? <laughs> they're going to be dead parents all over the place. So say, hey, kids, let me show you how to play back cannon. That is so badass. Yeah, so there you go. Nice. Quattro. Don't uh, snap your finger off. Okay. Remember the old ones where you put your finger in there, yes. and you move it, and then you have no fingernail left. Uh -huh. Damn it! Keep your fingernail cooler. Support the beach blanket, or oh -oh. the stadium blanket, or camping blanket. Or camping blanket comes in a case. In a case, a couple of those. The two and two. Two and two. These are they're like frosty. Glass. They're kind of cool frosty. frosty. These are uh, you got coffee mugs, which are collectible. Pretty cool. They're all different. Yeah, they're all different. You, you win four. Pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, these are really cool. Yeah, look at that. That's badass, isn't it? Dang. Yeah. Here, you can put down on here okay. for safety. Uh, look at that. The, oh, the, this is the grill, uh, grill for campfires. Campfire grill. When it's put together, it looks like this. You stake it into the ground, and then you can adjust it to the height to cook whatever you want over your campfire. This is mine. But this one is not. The other one yeah, is somebody else's. We don't even know. Of, can of camping. That, Lucky. So that comes in this. That's bad. Isn't that cool? And then in this, there is something else kind of special. The cool snap-on light. That is with bright. With a laser. Uh -huh. Very bright. And it clips. It can clip on your uh, shirt so you can like be hands-free. So that's in there. Oh, copyright. They might be tougher to be copyright. Yeah, they ain't copyright. Uh, there you go. Bam. I'd like to add, there are two sets of the coffee mugs. Uh, also, two sets of the tumblers and uh, shot glasses. I've been playing since I was a little boy. Okay, here's the thing. Uh, we, we're going to have uh, cl a classic uh, uh, bow and arrow competition. Now, I never, I haven't done that since I was a kid. Maybe I can almost say I've never done that. I have done it, but not more than 10 times. Like, I never shot more than 10 arrows in my life. So, uh, you know, those prizes will be the smaller prizes. And the bigger prizes are going to be like, take your name out of a hat or who wins the racetrack because we're bringing the Hot Wheels racetrack. So one of the bigger prizes, the big fun stuff is going to be by chance. So, uh, you know, a 45-year-old marksman who spent 20 years in the Marines can lose against a five-year-old if somebody brings a five-year-old, which brings up my next point. Let me remove this from the screen and bring in my next. Um, there should be no sound on this video, so hopefully when I hit play on this video of just lists of things, uh, you'll be able to hear me. Let me know if I don't have five-by-five. Five. So uh, sound messed up or one-by-one. One. That's the opposite of five-by-five. Five. Let's say one-by-one. One. So... Uh, Again, the email address I need you to respond to. Uh, wait a minute. Let me make this a little bit smaller. Okay. What you do need to bring, really easy, a tent, your own sleeping gear, uh, one roll of toilet paper, but I would like to add that last year, we, two people brought rolls of toilet paper into the bathroom and left them there, and we never ran out. I also never waited in line to go to the bathroom, and we have an indoor-style bathroom. And it's nice. Last year, they put the tile down. I don't know if it's been crowded yet. There might even be a shower in there. I don't remember correctly. Um, but if not, we'll have a hose. If really something serious happens where, you know, you got something spilled on you or you just, you know, something happened and you're, you just need to take a shower, um, I'm sure Judy can accommodate um, in that type of situation. There's also for the guys a hose. You could just, you know, hose down in, uh, you know, outside in your shorts. Uh, food, water for your campers. Now, about the uh, uh, as far as what I said, 10-year-olds, your kids are welcome. I guess that comes up in the next screen, so we'll take care of it then. You're welcome to bring alcohol, okay? Now, it is a concealed carry state. Uh, if you're uh, going to drink alcohol, we ask you uh, to give your piece to, to get locked up while you're drinking uh, and or don't have it on you. It's that simple. 
Um, so we just need respect for that. And we're not saying you can't have it. We're saying that if you're drinking alcohol, you need to hand it in. She'll put it in the safe. One item. One item for Sunday group breakfast means if you're coming with a group of one person, go and grab some grapes. Go and grab enough grapes for three people. You know, breakfast fruit, a couple of two cantaloupes. It doesn't matter. Everybody doesn't need a piece of cantaloupe. The people who don't eat cantaloupe will eat grapes. So don't think you've got to bring food for 30 people. Just think of it like this. I'm bringing two people. Me and my wife are coming. So we're going to stop at the store and we're going to get a couple of cantaloupes or some grapes. Or you can, if you got a Sam's Club card, you can get one of those little trays of, uh, of um, not donuts, but the thing with the jelly in the middle, whatever, the Danish. You know, they got the little three-inch Danishes. Bring, bring a tray of those. What, do they got 20 in there? That's fine. Not everybody's going to want a Danish. There's going to be a lot to choose from. There was last time. Now, the people who came last year, we might get a little bit more specific with you, you know, like bring a dozen eggs or something like that and, and try and uh, make sure things like that. But if it gets a little weird or out of hand or the numbers grow quickly, you emailing me saying I'm coming or I might be coming and I'm bringing my wife and my three kids. OK. Oh, good point. Coffee. I'll talk to Judy about having a coffee maker uh, outside um, for everybody unless you, you got you got it all figured out with your camping. OK, there's something, too. Now, you don't have coffee would be a great breakfast thing. I think that's what you're saying. Yes, coffee would be a wonderful breakfast thing. Now, also, like my car, I cannot I cannot charge my phone when uh, my car is not running. OK, so in that case, I would be screwed on the phone thing. OK, now, Judy has a large house, but right now it's at capacity with uh, children who have come home with their children, which is a good point, because if you're bringing children they already got a 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11-year-old there to play with. The younger ones are girls. The older ones are boys, if I understand it correctly. So your kid may not be bored. If you're bringing one child, there's four children there. you know. And, and I'm sure Judy would ha be happy to introduce you to those kids and, and let your kid go inside and play and everything. So um, let's get, oh, keeping it real simple. Okay, this is going to be the least expensive vacation you ever had, I promise. Uh, there's no camping fees, you know, and, and uh, the not necessary stuff. A small grill. Maybe you don't want to... Maybe you just need to sit with your family and cook and have a hot dog, or you just want to look over the, the large pond that your tent will be uh, probably 30 feet away from and overlook that and, and, and enjoy yourself. That's cool. Don't feel like you have to, but there will be a gas grill, a large gas grill that you can cook on. Okay. We will also have what you saw in the video. We will have in the fire pit that um, cooking stand so you can cook. Okay. So there's going to be other options. There's a fire pit that will have a cooking stand in the middle of the fire. You could bring your own small grill or you don't have to bring a grill. They have disposable grills and you can go use that. So it's your call. You can also use your neighbor's grill. You know, maybe you don't have a grill, but you're like, okay, I'm going to go grab a, a thing of coals and say to the guy next to me, hey, you know, can I use your grill? I got my own coals and give him the grill when you're done. I mean, the coals when you're done at the end of the weekend. Uh, if you play a musical instrument of any kind, uh, feel free to bring it, bring it, especially if it's acoustical, anything, ukulele, a flute, whatever you got. We are going to have a, a very good guitarist uh, that will be there. I will be attempting to play along with them. We will have a ukulele. A, a guitar, six string, maybe a bass guitar, or I'll be trying to accompany him on acoustic guitar. And then, uh, so any instrument that you have is cool. Disco ball, we're already bringing it. I'm, I have a disco ball and a light from the early 1980s, which is a very bright car lamp, probably from the 70s. Uh, and that will be uh, there. Uh, and if you do bring a gun and you're going to drink, then you just need to check your gun with Judy. Okay. It's concealed carry state. And she's letting us do that, letting us enjoy our rights on her property. And we all agree with the exception if you're drinking at all. Just check it on your first, before you take your first drink, check it with Judy. Uh, and let's move on. Whew, let's see. I'm trying to catch up. Pictionary. Yes, we are playing Pictionary. That's we are playing Pictionary Terminate. Yeah. And that'll be that'll be for one of the bigger prizes. You know, that is kind of like, there's going to be a lot. And if you own a company or you have stuff like this and you want to donate prizes, you feel free to bring them along. Did I miss something? No, I didn't. Okay. And our next and last screen here is welcome. You can bring campers, pop-ups, RVs, uh, kids games, kids. You can bring your kids and you can bring games. If you've got other game ideas like Pictionary, you got something cool or you got the cornhole game. That's what we do where you throw the, uh, the bean bags at the board laying on the ground, try and get it in the hole. Uh, feel welcome to bring that. We'd be happy to work that in because we got a lot of prizes to try and get, get rid of. Uh, special medical needs. Let me know ASAP. We will try to accommodate everybody. What was my other point? Campers, welcomes. I did have something on my brain. So uh, I think I think I think that's easy. Oh, okay. And here's a suggestion: you don't have to bring food on your trip. Less than two miles, approximately, maybe two or three miles from uh, where we'll be camping, is a Meyer food store. 
So you could bring all your coolers empty, go into Meyer, buy your food, you know, after you show up and put up your tent or before you show up and put up your tent, it's, you might have to go a mile or two out of your way after you get to where we're camping to go back and to, to go to the Myers. Depends on what you know direction you're coming from. Uh, so Myers is right by the, the facility that we'll have. Um, and what we're going to do is we're bringing uh, our cloth uh, bags and uh, our cloth coolers and um, cause they don't take up much space and we got so many prizes coming and we're going to buy the ice and fill them up there and whatever drinks and yada, yada. So, you know, it's a really laid back time. All I ask is that you email me and put, most importantly, put in the title family reunion. I'm searching the word family. I'm searching the word reunion. If you have my phone number, text me family reunion. And then how many people underneath there? But the first thing I got, I still get 47 texts, 47, 45 to 60 texts every day. So if you put the top line family reunion, I know to get on it right away. Uh, so put family reunion in the title. We got four people come in. We're going to have two can We're going to have one tent next to our tent. We're going to have, uh, what do they call that? A tailgate tent. One of those tents. That's just the roof and no walls. That's fine. Set up as many damn things as you want. You just need to let us know ahead of time so we can figure it out before you get there and have everybody roll in sweet again, RVs now electricity. That's what I wanted to think of. If you're in the situation I'm in and, and you can't, there's no way for you to charge your phone. I know Judy would be embarrassed by me saying this, but I'm going to say it because electricity has tripled since last year. We'll put a little uh, tip cup out and you could put three or four or five bucks in the tip cup. And uh, we'll ask Judy if she could put out a little uh, power uh, thing that we can plug into as needed. So, you know, if you drop five bucks in the thing, charge your phone all damn weekend, you know, whatever, just to cover her costs. We don't want, she's got enough. She's got, you know, 11 people in the giant house that the electricity bill is more than my mortgage when I owned a house. So, and then, you know, cause she's got electricity running in the barn. She's got all these animals that you basically got a petting zoo there. I really hope, I think everybody who made it last year is really hoping that we see Gritty and Pink and Paul Poe because they're the two people who didn't make it last year. Uh, and I want to give Paul Poe a big man hug. Um, so Gritty, if you're in here, I really, I really, from the deepest part of my heart, I understand, really hope that I get to meet you and your husband and your kids. And, uh, and I, and if you let me know your kids are coming, I'll bring metal detectors and we'll put prizes together. Uh, I, I do have two metal detectors and I did lose a very important screw in Judy's front lawn that keeps my, uh, Ravinia table together. I need four of them. I have three of them and I'll, I'll put 10 bucks out on who on a bounty on whoever finds that thing. And kids will spend the whole damn weekend looking for it. <laughs> uh, so we kind of got everything covered. You're not going to be left screwed. Um, uh, we're going to have a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Uh, and you can bring as many fireworks as you want. You're going to shoot off your own fireworks, but there's going to be a lot of other people with fireworks. Um, if you're not familiar, Ohio is legal. Indiana is legal. I don't know about the other surrounding States, but you won't have a problem finding fireworks. Uh, and if you're not familiar with fireworks, there's usually a video displaying what the firework does above your head. So you get an idea what you're spending your money on. Mac, you're going to love these. She, I think she's got three little Jesus donkeys. Uh, and um, Bethlehem donkeys, I'm not sure what the right name is, uh, one or two ponies and one or two horses. And they and the, the field is just amazing. I don't know if she's got her chickens up this year or not. Uh, I know she has a beautiful hen house that the Hornets moved into. Uh, so I think that's about all I got. I think that's about all I got. Uh, so, uh, so even if you said in this video, hey, I'll only be there for Saturday, I would appreciate greatly if you would do that because then I have a way to give you the address we're going to meet at. And I also could say, Hey, don't worry about this. Or, Ooh, I forgot to tell you, maybe you might, might want to bring one of these. So I could direct communicate with you personally and give you the address, contact me through text or, uh, through email. And, uh, I will write down the names even in their text. Cause I'm never going to remember everybody. So I'm going to make a list of names as they come in. The first line of your email, the first line of your text is family reunion. Uh, and we'll take people right up to the last minute. We'll even take people that day, uh, specifically people that we know from the channel, but I think you guys are going to have a great time. And I'll tell you that that was one of the best times I had since I was 16 years old, as far as around being around a group of people that are my age that think like me, that it's been years. All the people that I actually did go to high school with that I used to have those moments with, they're all blue zombies. They're all gone they're, I mean, their minds are gone. I can't have those moments with those people anymore, you know, and now I got a squirrely and I got a Judy and I got a Ronette and I got a Phil, you know, I, I, I got a Ross love and Christina and a Rocky and, um, and a squirrely and you're going to want, you're going to, after you taste that again, you're going to want that again. You're going to want it next year. And I am going to announce now. No, I won't. 